I want everybody to ask themselves when, you know, you see in this video is, are we giving ourselves our best? So pretty much what I'm saying is, I feel like, you know, we're about a week into 2022. I'm sure in 2021, we've made goals for ourselves, dreams, visions, whether we voice that to other people or not, written them down or not, which you should do that. You should at least write, write them down. But I'm sure, you know, in terms of educational advancement, uh, business ventures, personal development, healthier living, spiritual growth and maturity, family affairs, whatever it is, you know, I feel like we've all set up some type of goal um, to accomplish in 2022. So, but two things come with that. Two things come with that. I don't want us to feel like we're overwhelmed with these goals that we set for ourselves in the new year. Um, and another thing is you have to actually put in the work. You have to actually put in the time to do it. So first things first, whatever goal you have, that's awesome. It's good to have goals, dreams, you know, visions that they give you something to chase after, you know, instead of just being lazy throughout the year, you have something you're working towards. And like I said, you should definitely write these goals and dreams down and tell them to the right people. You shouldn't tell your goals and your dreams to everybody because some people are not for you. They're not for you accomplish anything. And some people will actually work towards, you know, work against you. So, you know, write them down, tell them to the different people, but tell them to the right people. Uh, some people work against you. Um, but with that being with that being said, you also don't want to overwhelm yourself, like I was just saying, because how many times, you know, it's a fresh year, fresh season of life, and you're like, yeah, I want to do this, 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 and that, and you're excited, but after a week or so, you know, you may not be lazy, but you might be overwhelmed at first. And I think that that gets a lot of people at first because look at it. You got these great goals and you're like, I want this great business. I want, um, you know, get a bachelor's, a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, a doctor's degree. You know, you want to go back to school or, you know, I want to be in shape. I want to lose like 30, 40 pounds, you know, um, whatever it is. I want a great business. I want to be, you know, you know at a better place with family members, I want to be here spiritually, whatever it is, you know, you have goals for yourself, but it can feel overwhelming at first um, because you're starting at the beginning. And I think we have our eyes set on the wrong thing. We have our eyes set on what we see at the end as opposed to where we're at starting out. So don't get overwhelmed because one thing is your goal is probably inspired by somebody you see, whether that's somebody on TV, that's somebody on social media, <clears throat> or that's somebody in real life you see. And you're like, I want what they have. They're inspiring. They motivate me to do better, want better for myself. That's that's awesome. But you got to remember that those people that are inspiring you, they're at where you want to be. You know they are they are they are already at a higher level than you right now in terms of your goal. They're already there. That's why they're inspiring you. But you got to remember, they already went through this season of you know building that up. They already went through the season of struggling, making mistakes. You know the trials and tribulation. They already went through that building the foundation. They are already at a different higher level. You're just starting out, so make sure you understand one don't get overwhelmed and two you got to realize that they already did their work they already set their foundation and you need to understand that it didn't happen overnight for them is what i'm saying a lot of times we're like man i want to be i want what they have i want to be where they're at i admire them so much which is a good thing but you got to remember it didn't happen overnight for them and it happened in a week for them in a month or even a year some things take time to happen and just because you want what they have you aspire to have what they have you know which is not a, like a jealousy thing it's just like you know i like what you got i you know, want to be similar you got to remember that it takes time to get what people are some people have built businesses they've really trained themselves physically they went through years of school and oh you know they're really mature grown up spiritually that doesn't happen overnight and it takes a lot of time to get to where they are. Your thing, your thing is you need to make sure you're focused on where you are, you know, focus on setting that foundation, focus on, 
you know, making the minimum mistakes as possible. You know, it's okay to, you know, admire the end goal, but focus on where you are in your season at this point. Don't get so caught up where they are. Focus on where you're at because it doesn't happen overnight. You look at a flower, you know, every flower started as a seed in the ground and for a long time, no one knew that 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 flower was there, was growing unless you planted it there. And unless you planted it there, you had no expectations of anything growing there. But don't be fooled. A uh, flower is growing even though nobody sees it. It's maturing. The foundation is being set. And at that point, you know, no one knows it's there, but it's growing. You're going to be the same way as you're – Goal is, um, you know, setting that foundation, your business, that spiritual growth, whatever it is, you got to set the foundation. You're going to be growing and no one notices you. No one's going to be like, oh, yeah, look at them. No, for the for a long time, you're going to have to be your biggest cheerleader. Um, you, if you got a spouse, your spouse may be your biggest cheerleader, but no one else knows what's going on with you. But be like that flower that's in the ground that's still growing it's just a seed it's just a seed no one knows it's there still in the dirt got dirt on it you may feel like you got dirt on you right now but remember you are still growing you're still maturing and developing and at some point every flower has that great moment where it breaks out of the ground and your break out of the ground moment may happen in a few months in a few years but what you got to do is don't get overwhelmed and remember you're setting your foundation right now. You're asking questions. You're being curious. How can I do this? You know, it's like I said, go back to the people who inspire you. How did you get there in your business? How many hours did you spend in prayer? You know, how long did you spend at the gym? You know, ask questions, be curious, set that foundation. That's good. But your focus shouldn't be on the end goal. Your focus should be on setting your foundation, making sure that's as strong as possible and just remember, you're going to be growing, you know, just like that, that that flower before it sprouted out the ground. It was just a little seed. No one knew about it. It had dirt on it. You may feel like you got dirt on you right now. It's okay. Keep growing. Keep maturing. Then one day you're going to sprout. So don't get overwhelmed. And, and two, you got to put the time in. You got to put the effort in. No one else is going to do that for you. Um, as much as I want to, you know, lose... 20, 30, 40 pounds, no one's going to go to the gym for me. You know, if you want to grow spiritually, no one's going to pray for you. No one's going to read the Bible for you. You got to do that, do those things yourself. You got to, you know, put that time in with God yourself. If you trying to grow a business, you got to be curious yourself. You know, you got to ask the questions yourself and do the research yourself. But like I said, it's okay. Use the tools you have around you as well. You know what I mean? If you know people who are already businessmen and women, ask them questions. You know what I mean? Um, but, you know, go to your local library. You may not be able to afford to go to, you know, your local college or university. That's fine. Go check out a book. It's the same information. But make sure you put in that time and that effort in because it's so important. If you're trying to, you know, level up your personal development, you got to Invest in yourself. You got to put that time into yourself. You got to go in your room, close the door and read a book, study, be quiet, whatever you got to do. You got to put that time in. If you're trying to increase, you know, um, um, your time or, you know, the relationship with your family members, you got to call them. You got to spend time with them. You got to go to the birthday parties, the Christmas parties, the New Year's parties and all that. And you got to actually spend time with them and talk with them. Uh, but one uh, point is you got to put in the work and the effort. No, Nothing's going to happen like, man, I really want a nice car. Man, I really want to be debt free. Man, I really want a house. You know, pray. Or pray about it, of course. But make sure you are doing something about it. You got you to gotta put that time and the effort in because it's not going to happen just by, oh, I want it to happen. I want it to happen. Nothing happens, you know, wishing on a star. Nothing at all. You got to put that time and the effort end because that's the only way anything's going to happen at all you know with that flower again somebody's got to water that seed somebody's got to water it you know what i mean so you may have to water yourself you may have to you know be that like i say you got to be your own cheerleader sometimes and you know really try to make things happen and all things keep god first you know i feel like a lot of people they kind of like man i'm so focused on my goals 
you know, they forget about God. But God has to be at the center of everything you do uh, because that's where real success comes from. In my opinion, you're nothing without God. You're nothing without God. And God's going to take you as far as he wills for you to go. And if you're faithful to him and you're faithful to your craft, I think the possibilities are absolutely endless. So, like I said, ask yourself, am I giving myself my best? Am I giving myself the best chance to be successful, to achieve all the goals that I want to achieve? Otherwise, you may, you know, you may be cutting yourself short. And nobody wants to, you know, look at the end of their life and be like, man, I could have did this better. I could have did that better. But um, that's all I got, guys. Um, like I said, this, uh, the live will probably be up for about a day or so. I'm going to uh, upload an actual video for this. Um, if you got any goals you want to share, it would tell us what you're doing to accomplish your goals, to encourage somebody else, that would be great. That would be awesome. But um, I'll catch you next time.